So Mark Wahlberg joins us right here in the living room today to talk about the newest movie that he's been working on based on a real-life priest, Father Stu. Hey, Mark, thanks so much for making time to be with oh, us. Oh, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. So what was it like being a priest for a few weeks? Well, actually, I spent quite a bit of time preparing to be a priest. I would say over the course of the six years of trying to get this movie made, I would perform at my house uh, with another priest, uh, my best version of a Sunday Mass uh, each Saturday in preparation. But this has been a, this has been a long time coming. Because you know we need a few good men. If you were ever to say Mass here, the, the crowd would be unbelievable. The line would be out the door and down around the corner. Uh, I don't know about that, but this is definitely a, uh, a love letter to the Lord, and hopefully it will encourage a lot of people to come back to the church and also uh, hopefully the vocation of priesthood. Now, everything I've seen about the movie written talks about it as Mark's passion project. Is that true? Uh, this is definitely something that I, uh, has been very close to me for quite some time. And, you know, I certainly wanted to utilize uh, the talents and gifts that have been given me to, uh, for a bigger purpose and to do God's good work. So, yeah, this is a love letter to the Lord for sure. So we thank you for bringing the story uh, to the big screen. You've invested your time, uh, your finances uh, in making this. I understand that you even put on 20 pounds uh, we were upwards of 30 pounds, but again, just... That's a lot of honey-dipped donuts. You know what? There was no honey-dipped donuts on the menu, unfortunately. When I heard I had to put on all this weight for the part because of uh, the physical transformation Stu goes through, I was very excited, but nothing nothing that I craved was on the menu. It was all kind of like, uh, I had 7,000 calories a day for two weeks, and then I had 11,000 calories a day for the final four weeks, all of which were like starch and sodium and high protein, so no, nothing fun. And you lost it, obviously. I did. I did. But, uh, you know, I don't look forward to, to doing that kind of weight transformation again. It's not, uh, certainly at my age, not a good thing. And luckily, uh, you did the movie in like a month, didn't you? Days, we days. shot the movie in 30 days, so a uh, six-week period. And, you know, for a movie this size and scope and spans a couple decades, it's pretty ambitious. But, you know, we, we didn't have uh, the luxury of shooting that much. But I, I like working at that pace. I think uh, you're kind of in it. Waited for, you know, five and a half years to get to the starting line, and so it was exciting. So the Long family, mm -hmm. Father Stu's family, they suffered a lot of setbacks and challenges. He himself uh, struggled with addiction, uh, and despite all of that, he embraced life and embraced the priesthood. What is it about the story of Father Stu that is so attractive to you? Uh, well, everything about him. I mean, his sense of humor, uh, his entire journey, but... It was when he found his calling, when he decided he was going to become a priest. He had been through so many different things, the loss of his younger brother, uh, his parents not really having the coping skills to deal with the loss of a child, him kind of being left to his own devices. But when he found it, despite being diagnosed with this uh, incurable disease, his uh, dedication and commitment service to God was unwavering. And it was unbelievable. When I talked to Bishop Thomas uh, about him ordaining him, he said he did more in his four, uh, four short years of priesthood than the bishop did in his 40 years. I mean, he really spoke to people in a way that they could relate to him. He had a lot of real life experience, had been through many difficulties, and, uh, and people identified that. Um, and, you know, he had real credibility with people when he spoke. So it was, uh, it was an amazing story. Now, the movie, so I understand, starts with, <laughs> in the beginning, there's a bit of profanity. Um, there is uh, there is some colorful language, yes. But still, you've I, never heard it before, though. Uh, just in passing, yeah. <laughs> or during a Celtics game, yelling at or the screen, a Celtics depending. Game. Yeah, we know that. We know or, that. Or yes. even worse, at a Bruins game. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> despite that, though, it, it seems to me the movie is being released at a great time. Yeah. In the middle of Holy Week, when mm. we celebrate as disciples of Jesus Christ, um, our redemption, mm. and the movie really is about, in a sense, redemption, isn't it? Oh, the movie is definitely about redemption and hope, and, and certainly uh, it's, a, it's a clear indication that nobody is beyond redemption, mm -hmm. which is even more important. So to find, uh, for Stu uh, to find his calling so late in life, and for his father to be able to come back, take care of his son in a way that he really didn't when he was a child. I mean, he literally had to bathe him, uh, feed him, clothe him, all of those things. And so, yeah, the movie is really inspiring. Hopefully, we'll, we'll bring lots of people together, yeah. especially in this time. And so many people, you know, relate to the movie in a very personal way because obviously people are struggling, having a very difficult time. I mean, with COVID and everything else that's been going on, 
um, you know, for, for it to, to inspire people and give them hope and renew their faith and also challenge them in a, in a, in a unique way. Stu is, is remarkable in that way where, you know, he's held me to task throughout the entire making of this movie and now what I'm going to do in the future with echoing his message and also challenging everybody else who sees the film to just do a little more and to be a little bit better. You know, I was at St. John's Seminary, which is our seminary here for the mm -hmm. Archdiocese of Boston, last week for Mass. And every time I go over there, I'm just so impressed with the guys. Mm -hmm. um, they've given up a lot. Uh, they're walking the road less traveled. Um, but they're good. They're healthy, strong guys. They're committed. If there were some men watching this interview right now, and they had in the back of their head the thought of priesthood, what would you say to them as a Catholic? Uh, if that's something that they felt was their calling, I would encourage them to pursue it 110%. I think, you know, we, we're all chosen to do something and to do our part, and we've got to be able to recognize what that is and commit to that, and, uh, and I think we're going to be a lot better off. We need some great leaders. We need some really young, uh, strong young folks yeah. that will continue to go out there and, and promote the message of inclusion and bring everybody together to the church and celebrate the Lord's love. I got to tell people, I was once out uh, in the Los Angeles area, and I went to say my prayers at Good Shepherd, church in Beverly Hills and I was walking up to the side door and I turned around and you were there coming in after me. We spend some time in the church praying by ourselves. Uh, it was clear to me that your Catholic faith is something pretty precious to you mm -hmm. in your life and has been redemptive for you. Uh, how important is your Catholic faith in the midst of this movie that's about to be released? I would have to accredit everything a good in my life both personally and professionally uh, to my faith. You know it all starts there. Um, and, you know, when I was able to kind of start to focus on my faith, all these wonderful little things started to happen. That feels really good. And so I just continued on that path uh, and always trying to just get a little bit better. Um, and God has only blessed me with the things in my life when I was really ready and prepared to handle them, you know, with, with, uh, with a wonderful woman to, you know, to, uh, to make my wife and the mother of my children and uh, things of that nature. So I, I attribute all of my success to my faith. And I know, you know, I didn't get put in this position to forget about where I came from. And this is all to do God's greater good. And so kind of being able to identify what that is and be able to go out there and execute is, uh, is something I'm really focused on now. And who should see Father Stu? Everybody. Everybody, of course. Absolutely everybody. You know, you see a lot of faith-based movies that are really kind of preaching to the choir. This is a movie that's accessible to everybody. There's so much humor in the film. There's so much heart and emotion. And ultimately, people are really inspired by the film, which is nice. And, and it couldn't be more necessary than right now. People are really struggling for something. And especially when you talk about a faith-based movie, that is, it's just a really high-quality film. Uh, you see the caliber of talent that was attracted by the material, and uh, I'm excited for it. It's, it's certainly the best-received movie that I've ever been in, and I've, I've done quite a few. Excellent. It's going to be exciting to see Mark Wahlberg in a Roman collar. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> lots of people that have known me for quite some time got a kick out of that. So I distributed some pictures early on. Hey, after the show, can you hear my confession? I will. I will. It probably is going to be boring, uh, <laughs> but, you know, I'll hear it for you. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg, thank, thank you, you so sir. much. Appreciate it. I hope the film does really well uh, for, well, at least the purpose of introducing people to uh, this great character, this great guy, this great priest, uh, Father Stu Long. And we really appreciate you taking time to come into the living room and spending a few minutes with us. It was us. a pleasure. Thanks for having me. God bless you. And God bless you, too. Thanks for uh, joining us for this special interview with Mark Wahlberg. We're going to go back to more of This is the Day right now.